We have to nail the implementation of the Chips and Science Act. We have to execute, like every detail matters, because it does, and we have to be bold enough with our vision, which is why I liken it to the space race. So when we rolled this out a year ago, I said we would be judged on two things. First, whether we were able to build a reliable and resilient semiconductor industry that advances our country's technological leadership, and second, whether we were good stewards of taxpayer dollars. As a former governor, I take that very seriously. I would treat every dollar as if it's, you know, our own. A year into it, I want you to know, I'm proud to say, we're on track to accomplish both. That if CHIPS for America is to be successful, and I know it will be, and I want to thank my team, many of whom are here today, for your unbelievable dedication and hard work. By the end of this decade, by 2030, the United States of America will be the only country in the world where new chip architectures can be invented in our new research labs, including those funded by the NSTC. They'll be designed in the United States for every end use application you can think of, manufactured at scale in the United States by well-paid American workers, and packaged with the most advanced technology in the world, all on our shores. And engineering schools all over the country will be pumping out more engineers and technicians trained specifically for the chips industry. We're gonna make building hardware sexy again. How about that? Doesn't that sound fun? As I said, China is not shy about its ambition. They are pouring in, you know, depending on who you listen to, $100 billion plus mm -hmm. to their own domestic chip manufacturing. So this is a tall order. That being said, that being said, um, all of the big chip customers, leading edge chip customers, are American. You know, uh, Apple, Nvidia, Microsoft, Google, Amazon. Uh, so we do have huge advantages in in the in our ecosystem. The designers of these chips. NVIDIA, AMD are American. So I don't, we definitely don't have to go dollar for dollar with China at all. However, this is why I'm so urgent about it. You know, what TSMC is contemplating doing in Arizona is path breaking, you know, and they are investing in the United States. And we're grateful that they're doing that and we're gonna make sure it's successful.